I have spent a good amount of time digging into Calendly and Google Calendar, testing them out side by side and just seeing where each one actually delivers and where they don't. This is not a sponsored video, it's just my honest take after really using both. So if you've been thinking about switching or combining them, hopefully this saves you some time. Now, first, Google Calendar is great for what it is, a clean, free scheduling system that works perfectly if your goal is managing your own time. You can set up events, reminders, and even invite people. But where it kind of falls short is when you need other people to book time with you, like for meetings, interviews, or sales calls. And that's where Calendly shines. It's built for booking. So you just set your availability, share a link, and people will pick a time that works for, for both of you. It syncs with Google Calendar in the background, so your schedule stays updated without you doing anything. You can also build in buffers, set limits on how far in advance people can book and create different meeting types. All stuff that Google Calendar doesn't do natively. That said, Calendly's free plan is a bit limited. You only get one event type, and most of the good stuff, like workflows, group scheduling, and branding, is behind a paywall. So if you just need a basic booking once in a while, the free version might be enough. But for anything serious, you'll probably need a paid plan. So here's a quick verdict. So if you're mostly managing your own schedule, Google Calendar is totally fine on its own, but if you are running calls, doing interviews, or coordinating with clients, Calendly just makes the process smoother. Let me know if you'd want a comparison with other tools like Calendly.com or Motion2. Happy to dig into those if you don't want to, so just comment down below. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.